Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here today. We are going to go into the Glam Light Cake Palette and we're going to go into that red velvet shade and we're going to put it on the outer corner and the inner corner. It's going to be kind of a halo eye look and yeah, so you don't really need to put anything in the center. I am just dabbing and very lightly moving it around since I'm using a big fluffy brush. I don't want to get the product everywhere. Might be easier to use a smaller brush. I'm trying to use or I'm trying to hit pan in this shadow and so I've been doing some heavy red looks with it. I really do like the color and the performance of this shadow and I'm a big fan of the reds so it's kind of been fun using this shadow. I also bring it down a little bit on my bottom lash area and now I am buffing and blending it out a little bit more just to fade it out or transition it out. I don't know what word I want to use, but you know, you see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it look, I don't know, faded on the edges so there's no harsh lines. So I'm doing small circular motions to achieve that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And as always, I really appreciate your support and you being here for me. You know what I did do was I started a TikTok. It's, you know, Fatally Flawed Ash. If you want to check that out, I only have two videos. They are so much more challenging to make, in my opinion. But yeah, I'm working on trying to get, I don't know, cool on TikTok. I'm kind of old for that, but I'm going to try to go with the trends. So yeah, I also put some of that red shade on my inner bottom lash line. And then I took that shimmery pink from the Feral palette from Menagerie. I really do like that shimmery shade. I'm, I'm literally just throwing it on in the center because we're doing a halo kind of eye look. So I didn't use any spray, I don't think, and I didn't add any glitter glue or anything like that. It's a... Yeah, I think there's a shade sort of similar to the shade in the cake palette that you could use. I think it's called like strawberry or guava or something like that. So you don't have to go into the menagerie, but I wanted to. And I also put that shade right in the center of my bottom lash line in that empty spot that we had left. I take that gray-brown color in the menagerie palette and I place it on my outer and inner corner because I wanted to deepen up the edges. I think a brown would have worked a little bit better. This was a little bit too gray leaning, but it blended out okay in my opinion and ended up looking okay. I just take the red velvet shade with the same brush and I go and add a little bit more product and blend it out some so it's not so harsh. I, I blend the um, gray shade as well, not just the edges like I'm doing here. And I, of course, brought up the red velvet shade because I felt like it needed to go higher. And blend it all out so it's not so harsh. Like I said, you should probably just use like a dark brown maybe instead. But I mean, I think it looks okay when I add, you know, some of the red velvet on top of it and blend it out. I'm not sure why I use that for my deepening up shade, but you know, it works. And then I wanted to wing it out a little bit because I normally like to do a rounded eye with a halo, but 
I am a big fan of a winged out eye look. So yeah, I throw on some lashes and a red waterline and a nude lippy. And it's a pink waterline, excuse me. And I hit pan in that shade. But yeah, this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Bye.